This is probably going to be the straightest road I've ever seen. Bumpy as hell. So this is, uh, looks like our cottage. Two dollars eight a litre. Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> Montreal River. I uh, believe it or not, it was um, quite scenic on the way up here, uh, but not anymore. So anyway, we're on our way to our uh, fishing resort up in the center of Ontario. I, I call it the center. It's definitely not Northern Ontario, so it's more the center. So we're uh, on our way, just getting close to Elk Lake. And we've been on the road for the last seven hours with a quick pit stop in North Bay to get some fuel and a bite to eat. And we've got about, I don't know, 45 minutes left until we get there. And I'll be showing you around the place where we stay in, which is the Horseshoe Resort. Horseshoe Island. Horseshoe yeah. Island Resort, Island Camp and um, which is just off Bell Island and on a certain lake, I can't remember the name of the lake right now, I'll tell you in a bit, but it's part of the Montreal River system. So anyway, that's what we're doing on this adventure and I brought the sea dew, so I'm gonna be fishing off the sea dew and the, the thing is I gotta try and catch a fish off it. So I got a whole week to do that. So uh, anyway, the journey continues, it's still a long way to go. I'm bored now. Fucking hell. <laughs> like, oh my god. It just, it's like, it just goes on. Are you sure we're not in America? Where's the ice wall? <laughs> yeah, where's the ice wall? This is probably going to be the straightest road I've ever seen in Canada. I mean, it hasn't turned for miles. It's just straight. Well, yeah, if you look out the rear head here. Just straight. Alright, just arrived in a place called Elk Lake. Now I'm just gonna find a gas station to fill up the jerry cans. So we have extra fuel. And this is probably the last gas station that they have one until we go home. Montreal River. That's not what we're going on, but it's a, it's part of the system of the Montreal River. I just found the gas station. There is one here. We nearly drove past it. It looks like a self-serve place. I thought it was a place for truckers. This is it. Oh, there is it. Is it a shop? Play here. Or maybe it's one inside. It says pay here anyway. We want gas, not diesel, so. The gasoline? Gasoline, pump number two, that'll do. Yeah. Alright. Oh, fell out my truck. <laughs> oh my god, my legs have gone. So, it's our little gas station. All right. There's so many lakes around here, I love it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> every time. Okay, the road's getting worse. No, oh, my poor truck. Oh, oh gee. Oh, your seat came off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that scraping sound? <laughs> yeah, pretty 
close to that water. <laughs> I didn't see any water there. Oh, there it is. Down that tree. Yeah. Should be taking us down to the water now. All right, see the water just ahead. Ooh. Uh, 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 bumpy as hell. Oh, ay, 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 ay. Jesus. I think the sea is still behind us. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy is covered in freaking dirt. Well, the trailer is anyway. Oh. <laughs> my poor <portrait. laughs> Wow. <laughs> I think the sea dude's taking a beating back there. Oh. Fucking just goes on and on. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> right, we're only being here a couple of minutes and I'm getting really, really annoyed with the black flies. As you can tell, they, weren't, they were really, really bad like five minutes ago and then the breeze kind of blew them away. So anyway, I uh, got to cover off the ski. Got a few guys down here on the ramp, just setting up to get out. And then the boat comes over. So I'll just quickly show you around. This is the main parking lot. So a little look at the boat ramp. All right, that's where I'm parked. Oh my God, I'm getting eaten by black flies. I just gotta wait for the uh, the shuttle to come, the pontoon boat, which takes us over to the, uh, the resort. So we got all our gear packed up on the dock. All right, let the adventures begin. Uh, the guys are staying at the dock, which is back there, and they're waiting for the pontoon boat to come. So they're sending me off to the camp um, and get the boat arranged for them guys so we can get cracking as soon as we get the stuff over there. So, uh, yeah, we've got this place for the whole week. We're out here. There's a not many people out here, which is nice, so we've got a nice big lake to ourselves, which is all part of the Montreal River system. So over the next few days, I'll be showing you around. to get here including like a half an hour of stopping but eight hour drive left at six o'clock got here just after two uh it's nice it's currently uh, 21 degrees right now and just around this corner is the uh is the facility where we stay in the uh, horseshoe resort This is Bell Island to my right, this is Bell Island. So we'll go all the way around it at some point. I mean, there's like eight or nine cabins on this island. Uh, no electricity. Uh, they have a generator that runs for a couple of hours in the daytime for the office. So we need anything charging, I believe they do it for us. But otherwise, it's a propane stove, propane lights, and propane uh, refrigerator freezer. Hopefully we'll get some fish. So the whole idea of the video is, I'm gonna try and fish for the first time off the uh, the sea the GTX 170 I got, which is basically similar to a Fish Pro, just slightly shorter, and the seats are slightly different, and that's really it. Uh, so we've got the Fish Pro cooler, we've got the fishing rods and stuff like that. So uh, over the week, we're gonna, they're gonna go on their little boat, I'm gonna take the sea out, see what I can catch, see what we can find, and just basically explore, give you a tour around the little island here of uh, 
the little the the the, the, uh, the cottages that are here and, and so on. So uh, yeah, my name's Nigel, by the way, the Charles Nigel's Cheap Vlogs, and uh, also known as the Lake Erie Vlogger. And today, I'm up here, just off the Montreal River. I do not know the name of this lake. I just completely forgot it. <laughs> so I'll mention that very shortly. Here we go, Horseshoe Island Camp. I believe we're that one over there. Not 100 percent but I also need to get some worms organized so we can get out fishing as soon as we drop all our stuff off. Hello, uh, number three. Number three, right here. Is that one? Yeah. And they want me to get some, ask for some worms so we can get out as quick as we can. Okay. They're just on the way over. I'm not Greg. Greg's over there waiting for the boat. <laughs> okay, we have... Did y'all want a larger cottage? We could do. Yeah. Hello. Hey, they're just asking whether Greg wants to, uh, another uh, a bigger um, cottage. The number four is available if he wants it with the lounge in it. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, he'll take number four. Yeah, all right, I'm going to go over there myself. So just around the corner? Yeah. A big steel boat on it? Yeah, I'm going to move that boat. All right, no worries. <laughs> so this is, uh, looks like our cottage for the week. We've upgraded ourselves to a slightly bigger one. Uh, we've got a lounge in it, so that's not our boat. They're going to move it and put another boat on for us, for them to use. So I'm going to tie up here and uh, wait for them to show up. Then we'll start unloading everything. Jesus. Let's have a quick look. Show you around quickly. Oh, this is different than our last one. So, two beds there. That's good. Hopefully, that's our room. Oh, yeah, I've got a bed each. Okay, we were worried about having bunks. Oh, this is a nice little setup. I like this. Oh, this is really nice. This is actually nicer than the one we had last time. I kind of like this. This is really, really nice. All right. Perfect. Look at that, we have a room each. Sweet. <laughs> Lovely job, Lee. Ladies. Here, have a roll. <laughs> Greg actually threw it to me. <laughs> I did. I smell bacon. Wait, <laughs> wait. Morning. Morning. Oh, it didn't rain, which is good. Oh, I, I got my hat on because I slept with the window open. Okay. And it was so nice, but my head was cold, so I put a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just shorty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my CD's you still there. That's good. Let's have a quick look outside before the bugs come out. Oh, look at this. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful way to wake up, eh? This is beautiful. Okay, so today, um, it's early. I think it's like seven o'clock. I have no watch. So today, after breakfast, it's out, do some fishing, and I'll show you around. 
All right, Sunday morning, 10 degrees Celsius right now. And it's supposed to warm up to like 21 with a, a rain system moving to our north. So we're gonna head south. Uh, the other guys have already gone. We got a five minute head start by untangle all this. And then we're gonna head out onto the water, go around there. We'll go down there about 10, 15 kilometers to the south side. So uh, let's go for the morning ride. Pretty fascinating your end and then just clip me on. <laughs> you want to be clipped on, don't fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a little brisk driving down here. Fucking yeah, fuck it, I have my fucking head on. Thankfully no bugs hit me. Thank you. Yep. Alright, we're about a quarter of the way down the lake and we just set up by the bridge here. And during the week you get a lot of uh, loggers coming by here with trucks over the bridge. My sonar's showing a few things, but nothing major. And now we just wait. And wait. All right, we're on the move again. Uh, plenty of fish jumping around here, but we don't work in any bites. So we're going down to the very far south bend of the lake be a pretty good spot uh, so we're gonna head down there but it's quite a bit of a ride so uh, that's where we're off to now try our luck from here uh, these guys had some success here the last time they came uh, so uh, just pretty close to the land there's a little deep section which is probably where they are where it drops like 40 feet so uh, yeah it looks like that's, that's where we're gonna go and try our luck here and hopefully we'll get one this time still waiting uh, Greg's got a couple of fish uh, me and Wayne are still skunked so try and get one We got. Not, I'm skunked. Not very big. That's what your wife said, but come on. Hey, little fishy. Good sign. What is it? Pickerel. Pickerel? A little runny pickerel. Um, looks like he'd never seen that before. All right, I'm still waiting for my fish. Good one. 
Nice one. All right, we uh, gave up for this morning. Uh, we're going to go back to the uh, resort and change bait. We make some minnows. Uh, we just spoke to some guys that went by and they caught like 50, 60 fish last night using minnows and leeches. Uh, we've caught three so far using worms, so it's like, screw that, we're going at the uh, minnows instead. So I'll head back, grab a coffee, get some minnows, and come back out again. Yeah. Oh. I think it's going to start then. All in? All in. Let's go. back in but we put these on to warm us up yes uh, propane lights uh, take the chill out of the air I have a coffee warm myself up quick nap and then we'll head back out all right back out for a afternoon run just grab my stuff heading that way all right, catch up with you in a minute. Let's go on. So we just had a Sunday little nap. These old guys aren't with, right? They like to nap. So when they've had a, a fish in the morning, they get home for like 11.30 and have a nap. And I just listen, put some music on with my headphones and chilled out. But uh, anyway, it's, 1.30, we're heading back out, sun's come out, it's beautiful. Um, forecast for thunderstorms tomorrow and hot Monday, Tuesday. So we've got to make the most of it. So after a cold start today, it looks like we might start getting better. And yeah, so yeah, let's head on out. Oh, good. over there anchor up uh, we're gonna use minnows for this afternoon and hopefully we'll get something so go meet up with them tie up and get fishing <laughs>
the alarm goes on. So beautiful there, look at that. Really nice. All right, on we go. What I find odd is that these guys have decided to come really far down to the south side of the lake. Um, yeah, we're expecting rain, so it could be a very wet journey home if that rain shows up. But look at the sky. Best be worth it. Now the fish finder is picking up some fish around here. So they got one on their little boat. So we're just finding a good spot of good depth. It looks like they find, found it and they're just gonna put the uh, anchor down and uh, I'll go behind them. I'll hook up and we'll fish from here. Look at these, look. Nice little arc. So definitely fish below us, sitting between five and 10 feet. Oh, look at this for a view. It's actually a nice view from this end. It's pretty. As I do that, I think I have a bike going on. No. So the, the cod are decent sized pickerel over there, but they've got their lines completely tangled up and it took them like 10 minutes to sort it out. Look at that, wait, let's have a look. Not a bad one. Yep. Bit of lemon juice on that, fry it up, nice. Another fishing trip. Sunday's over. I've still caught nothing. Pretty sad, really. So, anyway, it's getting dark. It's uh, 9.15. Uh, gonna head back. We've got quite a bit of a way to go. So, we'll see you back at base. time it's pouring down with rain so i'm gonna dock this get inside there grab myself a guinness and uh, we'll take it from there get some lights on as well because it's pitch black in there and of course we have no electricity out here it's like but my corporation's based in alberta doesn't matter the ceo should be required whether it be talking politics and drinking <laughs> whether it be uh like cn or any of these big, big corporations Oh my god, so much better. cell phone he's underneath there
really hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs>